We moved spots, came up way higher, hiked in, and looking at a really amazing view. I haven't seen anything besides the Dona Fawn. The berry bushes don't seem super thick. There were some berries on the hike up, but we've glassed it for probably 45 minutes, and we're not seeing anything. So um, Chris actually has a camera up here that we're going to check for him. He's got a camera down the bottom that we checked before, and all it had was a couple small bucks. Um, we're going to keep looking out for bucks for him because he's got an archery tag, but in the meantime, we're going to go check his camera and then keep glassing for some bears and bucks. So hopefully we can pick something up. If not, we'll probably hit something adjacent to here. Jeff's coming up tonight, so we're going to meet up with him, but he's going to be hunting with Janie, so um, hopefully we can kind of set up a game plan, maybe hit stuff that they've found bears in the past, so. What's up, Camp Robber? What are your thoughts about this area? Beautiful view. I've had to deal with the sun in our eyes for a little bit, though. It's not been fun, but pretty view. I just wish we could turn up more animals. But we'll see. We'll move down the ridge a little bit and class into different pockets so there's this camera and I don't think very many deer have been hitting this Oh, and then this guy right here coming up, he's decent too. Those might be does actually, there's two up top. But. So Jeff just picked up some deer and we got the spotter on him. There's two really nice bucks, we're about to get glass on him. Um, just good frames, good Washington bucks. I don't think any monsters, but good bucks, so. And there's a couple that are uh, like uh, departed from the little groups out there. Yeah, there might be more, so. And last year we saw one nice buck in here, but we didn't have spotters, so we didn't know how big he was. Oh, hey guys, I joined up with Robbie and Jacob. They've just been throwing light all over this mountain without fucking contact, so I gotta call, call me in here, so I might come in here and lay the pipe down. I'm just joking. It's my wife's turn. Well, depends on who sees it. But, uh, first time Jacob and Robbie been into this, I almost said the name, into this canyon. And uh, we've been sitting down glassing for two minutes and picked up a big batch or group of bucks. Jacob got me all excited when he said these are a nice buck on there. So I'm going to throw the 85 on it and check them out. It's 8 o'clock and no bears yet, but um, I glassed up like a group of six or seven deer down there this morning. And Jacob put the spotter on them and come to find out there's a, a handful of really nice bucks. One is super similar to the buck I killed in 2017, and then there's two four points, and one of the four points is um, really nice, uh, for, especially from what we typically see. So uh, we're stoked on that. Or archery opens next weekend. Uh, we have a three-day weekend for free. Might come in here and camp down there in the bottom and, and just try to spend the weekend shooting those things. And then also it's good bear country, so we could shoot a bear next weekend. We'll pack in a couple rifles and a couple bows have ourselves just a time 
down there on the creek. It's a beautiful area to go down there and camp in the timber and hang out. Stock some bucks. Jacob and Robbie are going to take off and go glass some different uh, drainages right now. And me and Jane are going to stay here at this main glassing knob because we can see so much. And then they'll have their zolios on. So we'll be able to communicate with them all afternoon. And they're going to go venture off. It's going to be a fun one. It just ran out of the meadow though. Oh, is it? Like something's coming into it. Oh, dude, bear, bear, bear. I got a bear. Where? In that same meadow. Shut up. No, I do. Dude, good bear. Come on, let's go. It walked into my frame. Dude, we need to haul ass. See it? It's right where that deer was. Nope, big black. So, Robbie's going to drop a deuce. And I was filming a deer he glassed. And the deer runs off. And a bear walks into my camera frame. So, we're going. Looks like a nice bear around there. So we just got into position. We're looking over where that bear was at. But we can't see him. I think he's either in this timber, bedded down, or just in a spot we can't see him. So I'm gonna try to find a really good setup. There's a nice little rock up here. I'm gonna get set up. And then if I can hold off, if that bear doesn't move out of here, and I can get eyes on him, Jane, he's coming over. And I'll let her shoot if she can make it over. sat here on this bear that Jacob spotted. Um, he was gonna let Janie shoot it out of the kindness of his heart. So me and Janie scooted over here, got in position, we sat on it for about four hours. It's almost two o'clock. We're gonna go back to our spot uh, where we saw those bucks this morning and glass down into um, the main drainage. And uh, we'll be able to see a ridge over this direction that holds bears. And if we do see one, we'll be able to tell Jacob and, and Robbie to, to get over there as quick as they can. Um, so we're just gonna divide. Doesn't make sense that we're all sitting on the same knob that we can't glass from. We can only see them 400 yards down into this basin. So we uh, feel like it would be a better idea for us to split up and then uh, just be able to cover more ground. So me and Jane are gonna make the half hour trek back across to the main glassing knob and uh, start picking country apart. It's uh, about almost two o'clock. That's it for today. Saw one bear in 12 hours. Uh, Jacob made a plate on him, and then Janie and I scooted over and tried to set up on him. We set up on him for about three hours. Never came out. Jacob and Robbie stayed put. Didn't come back out, so we 
by the time Jacob and Robbie were in position, I think the bear kind of snuck out and uh, out the back door type of thing. But uh, today was not a total loss. We saw some giant bucks, and I think I legitimately mean it. There's one four point in there that's bigger than anything I've ever killed, and then there's one three point that's identical to something I have killed. So it was a great, great day. Chris and our buddy John killed. Just got a Zolio message, so congrats to them. Don't know who was the shooter yet, but I think we're gonna go pack up camp. We don't know what's going on up here. It's a strange year. Um, we don't know if the berries are burnt. Berries didn't come in, but it's void. Uh, it's usually pretty active with bears, and we saw one, and he wasn't even feeding. He was just cruising country. Um, yeah, we don't know. We're kind of at a loss. Um, we know there's a lot of deer in this area. We saw 17 bucks today. Um, it's just covered, crawling with deer. Legal bucks everywhere, and like we said, a couple really nice ones. So we're stoked for that. I have an archery tag, and uh, we are in a unit that's open to archery deer hunting. So we'll be back next weekend with a bow and maybe a couple rifles um, for bear. But right now we're kind of uh, deciding on what, what to do. Gonna drop down and maybe meet up with Chris and John. They had better luck. Maybe they could point us in the right direction for tomorrow. Or we just go hit one of our other spots that we know holds bears. But that's really, that's really that. Thanks for watching.